Hi everybody, Clinton from Oval Window Racing. Uh, here we are today uh, on to the next step of building a grease pit. Um, like I said in the previous video, I'll be uh, doing a trial fit on the uh, crankshaft today and uh, possibly uh, get the flywheel on and try and get an end play reading. But we'll see how time goes. Um, so follow along. All right, here's the crankshaft. What we're gonna wind up doing is grabbing uh, Rod one and two, because three and four are the case half that are on the engine stand. Got everything uh, lubed up, cranks together. Now we're just going to install here, very carefully. And the bearings are all still marked. Sometimes it may help to pull, put a little pressure. There you go, so you guys can see that. Um, Put a little pressure up on this just to help rotate the bearing around. Just a little bit of pressure. A little feeler drop in. Nice. Carefully set that down. Pick up this rod a little bit. Align this bearing. And we'll rotate her around. Oh, I see the dial pin in the hole right there. We gotta go this way. Okay, this one's not gonna go all the way in because this number one bearing is out. But as soon as the number one bearing gets around to where it needs to be, everything should fall in nicely. And we know where it's gonna fall in because we got our line on there still. There we go. And we'll just give it a good once over. Now what we got here is a, uh, I believe it's a 74 millimeter crank. So what we need to do is rotate it around and check to make sure that uh, it's not hitting on anything. Sometimes these, uh, um, cranks will be big. Usually it's going to be in the rod end capsule hit. But it looks pretty good. I'm not feeling it rub on anything. A little rocker back and forth. She clicks back and forth. Alright, I'm going to try to get the rods to kind of stand on their own so we can grab the other case half. And here's the other case half. Then, carefully, stick her on. Now we've got to find the washers and nuts. Now I'm going to use the same nuts and washer that I used when I uh, pre-assembled just the crankcase halves. Because like I said, these are just uh, for trial fitting purposes. I'll use a uh, actual stainless steel lock, nylon locking nuts and a good set of washers. No sense in using good stuff to just do a trial fit. We'll just lightly get these uh, started on here and then I'll find my socket wrench. I think I've spent more time looking for tools. I'd stick stuff back once in a while, uh, probably wouldn't lose it. Let's go find them. All right, found my ratchet wrench. I'll be uh, doing probably three torque sets down here. One will be a hand tighten, a light hand tighten. Then I'll probably torque to like 15 foot pounds, and then I'll take it right on up to the. Uh, 35 foot pounds as long as the procedure goes along correctly. So let's get the tightening down. Truck's going to be when you come to tight, we are going to rotate the camshaft once. Rotate the camshaft. Rotate the camshaft. Rotate the camshaft. Rotate the camshaft. <laughs> I don't think I need to keep saying that. All right. I'm feeling things uh, sticking here. Not liking that. 
I think that's more to do with clearancing on the, the crank. So on to the torque settings now. Handy dandy torque wrench. Set her to 15 foot pounds. There we are. Again, one at a time, slowly, and turn the crank. All right, now onto the next torque setting. I think we can go all the way now. Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way. Again, I do this in a kind of an X pattern. Nice. Nice. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Stay in one spot. Nice. Nice. And nice. Just double check them all again, make sure I got them all. All right, now the crank does move uh, nicely in here. Clicks back and forth nicely, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to go any further until I find out what, what that rod is hitting on. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a little uh, clearing, scent, clearing scene on the case before I go a little further. Not gonna be much, nothing a dermal tool I can't handle. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but this nut and rod bolt come really close to the case there. And then it's scratching something on the top of the case. Yeah, it's there too. Let's flip, let's flip this over and take a look at the other end. Yeah, that one comes really close. And those come really close. All right, well that's about as far as I can go today. Um, I probably could bolt the flywheel on and at least get an in-play reading. And when I do that, I also like to get a run-out reading. Um, which the engine has to be able to rotate a full 360 degrees in order to get that done. So I think I'm just going to wait to do that later. Um, got a race this weekend. I got to get ready for it. It's kind of why my tools are kind of all scattered around. Um, not kind of hiding the fact that I am, but we'll just say forgetful. Um, but until then, hopefully in the next video, uh, won't be too long, but we'll have the, uh, the case clearanced and uh, we can get the flywheel on and get a, a good end play reading. Um, but until then, um, stay safe, and I'll catch you again. See ya. All right, everybody. Kind of lied to you. When I was taking the engine case apart, I decided to show you one more thing. Um, I actually trial fitted the camshaft. And as you can see here, we got the camshaft in there. We're going to rotate it around. Doesn't hit anything. Should have a little bit of in play. I can hear the clicking. The main thing, very important, is to check this clearance between the lifter and a cam load. And I can pretty much see with the uh, naked eye that I've got way more than enough clearance that I need. 
So there'll be no need to uh, to machine down the lifter bores. And it's a good idea to and it's a good idea to check all four lobes on both case halves. Most generally, one lobe is probably good. Another thing uh, I like to check when I'm doing this, but I can't really do it properly because I haven't got the uh, oil pump for my buddy yet. But it's a good idea to put the oil pump in and make a make a note of where everything's at. And I happen to have a spare old oil pump lying around, and it's, uh, and you can see on this oil pump that I've already done a little grinding on it. Uh, apparently when I ran this, it was a, a pretty tight fit to the cam bolts, and here I'll show you that. Basically, you're just going to install the oil pump on this half. Really no near, need for the gears. And I do it, with, I do it without a um, gasket. Um, gasket's going to give you a little bit more clearance, but I want to make sure I have enough clearance. It's better to have enough than not enough. And what you look for here are those camshaft, or cam, are those crank bolts. Cam, it is a camshaft. Those camshaft bolts. Make sure they're not hitting the oil pump. You can see they come real close, but they're not hitting. It's uh, best to put a feeler gauge in there and check for clearance. should have at least 80 thousandths clearance. The camshaft shouldn't move much more than 5 thousandths. Um, but it's always best to have more than not enough. It's best that you do the clearancing and don't let the engine do it for you because he's not as forgiving or as nice. And another look. All right, guys, that's it. A um, couple neat little tricks there I showed you. Um, hopefully they're helpful, hopefully they're useful, hopefully you like this video. If you do, hit the like button, share, and uh, subscribe, and follow along as I complete this uh, engine build. Until next time, have a great day, and be safe.